Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Wednesday, October 7th. Today the Universal Church celebrates the feast day of Our Lady of the Rosary. Today is also the feast day of our parish, Our Lady of Victory. This coming weekend, we will celebrate this feast day at all our weekend masses. So listeners to the Daily Reflection will hear more about the Our Lady of Rosary readings this coming Sunday for the Daily Reflection. So today, the Reflection will be based on the Daily Gospel reading for today, October 7th. And again, I'll talk about the readings for Our Lady of Rosary this weekend. So today's Gospel passage comes to us from the 11th chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. It reads, Jesus was praying in a certain place, And when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us and do not subject us to the final test. And this Our Father, this prayer taught to the disciples from Christ, is one of the most important influential prayers in our Catholic faith and among all Christians. In fact, the Our Father as a prayer is used as a source of unity among all Christians. When I was serving as an army chaplain, I'd often begin my Christian prayer services with the Our Father to demonstrate how we as Christians are united through these words of Jesus. So since we pray this prayer often, I know sometimes we can go through the words very quickly. Therefore, it is definitely important that occasionally we say the words of the Our Father very slowly and let the words sink into our hearts and minds. I've even had times in my prayer where I'd stop in the middle of saying the Our Father because a part of the prayer literally stopped me and caused me to think and to reflect and to truly see what the Lord was trying to say to me through that part of the prayer. So it's important that the Our Father remains as a part of our prayer lives as a source of faith, hope, and blessings. And yes, we'll pray it many more times, maybe even today. So again, what a great blessing we have in this prayer from Jesus Christ. When I was in seminary, One of my scripture professors had us do an examination of conscience based on the words of the Our Father. And I actually want to conclude today's reflection by reciting this examination of conscience for all of you as a means to help you enter more deeply into the words of the Our Father as you pray it in the future. So this examination of conscience reads, I cannot say are if my faith has no room for others and their need. I can't say Father if I do not demonstrate loving relationships in my daily living. I cannot say who art in heaven if all my interests and pursuits are of earthly things. I cannot say hallowed be thy name if I do not give God honor, glory, and trust. I can't say, Thy kingdom come, if I'm willing to have His kingdom grow in my heart, my home, my church, my country, and my world. I can't say, Thy will be done, if I'm unwilling or resentful of having God in my life. I can't say, On earth as it is in heaven, unless I'm truly ready to give myself to God's service here and now. I can't say, give us this day our daily bread, without expending honest efforts for it, or by ignoring the genuine needs of my friends, my family, and those who are brothers and sisters in Christ. I cannot say, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, if I continue to harbor a grudge against anyone. I cannot say, lead us not into temptation, if I deliberately choose to remain in a situation where I'm likely to be tempted. I cannot say, deliver us from evil, if I continue to support systems that are oppressive 
and sinful. I cannot say amen unless I'm willing to say, whatever the price, this is my prayer. And I know that this is a very challenging examination of conscience, but again, it's my hope that this meditation will help all of us to grow in our relationship with Jesus Christ through the important prayer of the Our Father. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Mm -hmm.